Okay, now one of the things I want to explain to you here first and foremost, this is video two now for Spartan. Maybe I should say that just so that you can follow where we're up to. Is one of the things I want to look at is that it's well known that Google needs content, relevant content, so that it can decipher what you're trying to sell so that it knows to rank you. I mean, it really is that simple. Now, what I want to do is I want to just, we're going to quickly flick through this site uh, and, and have a look. You can see here off the first page that, you know, if Google requires content, it would seem that, you know, we've got lots of content here. You know, this site on its own page seems to have all the content there. So that seems good. Uh, let's have a look. We, we, if you go down here, there's another page. This is the site's forum. So let's have a look in here. And I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to move that across. Just so you can see. So we've got 817 posts all about uh, uh, general uh, Spartan apparel discussion. Then we've got Spartan apparel reviews and Spartan classifieds. So, you know, we've got quite a few people moving about here. We've got 902 posts, you can see it down here, in 102 topics and 146 members. So straight away, really, if you looked at this, you know, for a site that's selling motorcycle leathers, it's not doing too bad. You know, there, there should be a ton of content inside there that's all about motorcycle leathers. So it makes you wonder as to why, what's the problem? If Google says it likes content, yeah, then why can it not rank this site better uh, in, in its natural listings? That's the question. Because, well, the reason is, is that if you read Google, it doesn't say simply that it likes content. What it says is, is it likes content that's structured. So you've got to structure the content correctly so that Google can read it. Now, what I always say is that when you're building a website, what you do is you build it first for Google and secondly, you build it for the consumer. Now, the retort to that straight away is, oh, well, what you're going to do then is you're going to spam. No, no, no. What you're going to do is when I say you build a site for Google, what I mean by that is that you structure the site so that it fits for Google and then you place the design around it so it works for the viewer. So it's structure for Google and navigation for the, uh, for the customer. And that's where people get confused. If we look at the online store, which takes us to here, what we can see, if I just drop this down, is, and we'll go to body armor. Now, another thing we've got here is just in the top bar where I'm just going blue here, is we've got what's known as a dynamic link. Now, Google finds it difficult to read this. Can Google read it? Yes, it can. But can you make it more simpler for Google to read? Yes, you can. And these are all the things that we're going to do. It's all dead simple stuff. All we are doing is going to take this site, take the content that it's already got, and put it into uh, uh, paragraphs that are structured so that it still reads the same, if not better, for the consumer, but for Google itself, it, it can come to the site and say, I understand that as well as the person who's reading it. And so we've got to get these two people, one of them who's a robot and the other one who's a customer, so that they both can read it as easily as each other. A, a very quick example before I shut this down, because this is what it's all about, is the top one says eight plate back protector, and that's how easy Google has got to be able to read this site.